Mutation number eight, fatal familial insomnia. Most people sleep on autopilot, but for some, that system was just built differently. Let's say you're tired, like really tired, but when you lie down to sleep, nothing happens. Not that night, not the next night, not ever again. For most people, that sounds like an anxiety dream, but for a tiny number of families around the world, it's a horrifying reality written straight into their DNA. It's extremely rare. Fewer than 40 families have been identified with this mutation globally, but it's one of the clearest examples of how deeply sleep is woven into our biology and what happens when that wiring breaks down. Fatal familial insomnia is caused by a mutation in the PRNP gene, the same one involved in mad cow disease. It affects a part of the brain called the thalamus, which controls your sleep-wake cycle. Over time, the mutation triggers toxic protein clumps that destroy this region, making sleep impossible. At first, people just struggle to fall asleep, but then the insomnia becomes total. No rest and no dreams. Just confusion, hallucinations, panic attacks, and eventually, organ failure. Once symptoms begin, most people don't survive longer than 6 to 18 months. So next time you complain about one bad night's sleep, maybe count yourself lucky. Your genes aren't out to get you. Mutation number 7. The natural short sleeper. Fewer than 1% of people carry this mutation. You know those people who sleep 5 hours a night, wake up chipper, and still manage to run a company, train for a marathon, and make sourdough? Yeah, they might not be overachievers. They might just be mutants. Scientists have discovered that some people naturally need far less sleep, and it's not because they're forcing it. It's because of a rare mutation in a gene called DEC2, specifically the P384R variant. This gene affects how your brain regulates circadian rhythms and sleep pressure, basically how much your body wants to sleep. While most people need seven to nine hours to feel human, natural short sleepers can thrive on four to six hours with no signs of sleep deprivation, no brain fog, no mood dips, no health consequences. And they're not rare in behavior, they're rare in biology. It might sound like a productivity dream, and honestly, it kind of is. These people tend to be more optimistic, more energetic, and more goal-driven. Traits that might come with the wiring, not just from extra time awake. So if you've ever felt lazy next to someone who runs on four hours of sleep, maybe don't blame your work ethic. Blame your DNA. All right, now let's meet the ones who take nap mode to the extreme. Mutation number six, the hibernator. Imagine falling asleep and not really waking up for two weeks. That's what happens in a rare condition called Klein-Levin syndrome where people experience episodes of extreme sleepiness, sometimes up to 20 hours a day, for days or even weeks at a time. That's like hibernating for 75% of your life. It's not just long naps either. When they're awake, they're groggy, disoriented, and barely functional. Conversations don't make sense. They binge on food like they haven't eaten in days. Emotions run wild, and when it's over, they barely remember any of it. It mostly affects teens and young adults, and tends to come in waves, a few normal weeks or months, then suddenly the fog returns. The exact cause is still unknown, but many researchers believe there's a genetic component that affects the hypothalamus, the brain region that controls sleep, appetite, and behavior. It's been nicknamed sleeping beauty syndrome, but real life cases are far less dreamy. Some people lose years of their lives to these episodes, stuck in a cycle of sleeping, forgetting, and trying to catch up. Fewer than 1,500 cases have ever been reported, but it leaves scientists wondering, is this a disorder or a dormant function we've just forgotten how to control? Mutation number five, the sleep fight gene. You fall asleep, but your body doesn't. Instead of lying still and dreaming peacefully, you start talking, yelling, and thrashing, sometimes even acting out your dreams, punching walls, running into furniture, or trying to leap out of bed. And you don't remember any of it. This is what happens with certain parasomnias, especially REM sleep behavior disorder, where the brain's paralysis system fails during REM sleep. Normally, when we dream, our muscles shut down so we don't act out our dreams. But in these cases, that safety lock is broken. And yes, it can be genetic. Mutations in genes like GBA and SNCA have been linked to this condition. And it's not just a sleep issue. It's also considered an early warning sign of neurodegenerative diseases like Parkinson's and dementia. For now, the dreams might be wild, but years later the same mutation could affect memory, movement, and even personality. It's unnerving, it's surreal, and it blurs the line between dreaming 
and waking, in a way that's deeply unsettling. When the line between dream and reality disappears, you're no longer the one in control. Mutation number four, the clockless drifter. Most of us live by the sun, wake in the morning, sleep at night, on repeat. But what if your internal clock ignored all that? People with non-24 hour sleep-wake disorder don't follow the usual 24 hour cycle. Their body clock runs long, maybe 25 hours, maybe more, slowly drifting further from the rhythm of society. One week they're wide awake at 3 a.m., the next they're crashing at noon, and eventually they cycle all the way back around again, like their body's on its own orbit. It's most common in people who are totally blind, since their brains don't get the light cues that reset the clock each day. But rare genetic mutations, especially in CRY1, PER2, and other circadian genes, can cause this even in sighted people. Their internal clock just ignores all signals. There's no cure, just a rotating cycle of wakefulness and exhaustion, forever out of sync with school, work, and society. It's like permanent jet lag, but without the vacation. And it shows how tightly our biology is wired to light, and how quickly things fall apart when that rhythm slips. When your body stops tracking time, your whole life can start to feel untethered. Mutation number three, sleep paralysis immunity. If you've ever woken up and couldn't move, you know the terror. You're awake, you can see the room, and maybe you even feel a presence, something heavy sitting on your chest. But your body won't respond. You're frozen, trapped between sleep and waking. That's sleep paralysis. And for many people, it's one of the most horrifying experiences imaginable. But what's interesting is that some people appear to be completely immune to it. And in certain families, that immunity seems to run in the genes. Researchers suspect the difference lies in how efficiently your brain transitions between REM sleep and wakefulness. In most cases of sleep paralysis, the mind wakes up while the body is still paralyzed from dreaming. But people with faster, cleaner transitions, potentially due to genetic variants in neurotransmitter regulation, never get stuck in that in-between zone. Basically, their sleep switch is better wired. No glitches and no ghostly figures in the corner. Studies have shown that specific GABA-A receptor variants may play a role in families with no history of sleep paralysis, suggesting a real genetic basis for this built-in resistance. So if you've never felt the terror of being frozen in bed, staring at a shadow that isn't there, you might just have a built-in neurological shield. All right, now let's meet the people who would totally thrive if society started at noon. Mutation number two, eternal night owl. You're not lazy and you're not undisciplined. You're just wired for nighttime. People with delayed sleep phase disorder, or DSPD, have a circadian rhythm that runs several hours behind the rest of society. While most people start feeling sleepy around 10 or 11 p.m., their brains don't wind down until 2, 3, even 4 a.m., no matter how hard they try to shift it. And it's not just habit, it's genetic. Mutations in genes like PER3 and CRY1 disrupt the body's internal clock, delaying the natural release of melatonin, the hormone that makes you feel sleepy. It's like trying to fall asleep while your brain insists it's still daytime. People with this mutation can still get good sleep, just not on society's schedule, which makes things like early school, morning meetings, or nine to five jobs feel like a constant uphill battle. And the worst part? Because they can't fall asleep early, they're often sleep deprived and blamed for it. This isn't something you can train out of. It's biology, a built-in clock that ticks to its own rhythm. If you're someone who's always felt more alive at night and broken by morning, the problem might not be you, just the time zone you were born in. Mutation number one, premature bird. You know those people who wake up at 4 a.m., go for a jog, make a full breakfast, and post sunrise selfies before most of us have opened one eye? They might not be overachievers. They might just be mutants. Advanced sleep phase disorder, ASPD, is basically the inverse of the night owl mutation. Instead of a delayed clock, these folks have a circadian rhythm that runs hours ahead of schedule. Their melatonin kicks in early and their body says, bedtime, at 7 p.m. By 4 or 5 a.m., they're wide awake, refreshed, and ready to go. It's caused by mutations in genes like PER2 and CSNK1D, which regulate how quickly your internal clock cycles. With advanced sleep phase disorder, everything speeds up. It's like your body's running an early edition of time. People with this condition often struggle to stay awake in the evening. And they're not just sleepy, they're chemically shutting down. Social events, late dinners, even staying out for drinks can feel impossible. 
But even though society tends to reward early risers, this mutation still makes life tricky, especially in a world that doesn't go to bed at 7 p.m. Rise and shine comes naturally. Staying awake for Netflix and chill, not so much. We explain a lot around here. Subscribe so you don't miss what's coming next.